But what I was really, really wanting to show you was this because it is chunky. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did, and I am here with my friend Mary at her ranch in Forsyth. I, uh, I am lucky enough to be invited periodically to come and hunt here, and we have a good time, so let's see what we can find. Well, you know, I always pick up the first egg of the day, even if it's a little bitty one. I figure they're my good luck charm. Well, here's a nice little jaspagget. I've been picking these up lately because I just think they cut so beautifully. And Jasper, while it's rather unappreciated by, in some circles, makes some beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the grain on that one. Some petrified wood, like this one, is mostly filled with a non-silicated mineral. Oh, look at that! It's got like a, it's the whole knot in the whole, in the top there. That is really, really cool. This banded jasper is awfully pretty when it's sliced. So of course I have to take it home. Oh, look at this piece of agatized wood. It's just crazy. Like, look at the, the grain in there. That's amazing. Look at what it looks like when it's squirted off. Nice. Isn't that just nuts? Nice. Oh my gosh. What a cool rock that is. Too bad it's so big, Mary. <laughs> I think I found an agate. Yay! Oh, that's an interesting one. It's got lots of kind of different colored swirls in it. So interesting. And here's another pretty agate. Just kind of a little one, but it has it has some inclusions and some lines. Oh yeah, some water lines there. Neat. Look at this. It's just a piece of petrified wood, but look at the shape of it. Like, it's just like a chunk of wood, only not. I know I say that all the time, but it never ceases to excite me. That is so cool. Mary, look at this chunk of wood. That's a piece of wood. Like somebody milled it. Yeah, it looks like, <laughs> it, looks like it was somebody was building a house or something. Look at this square. Well, I think this one might be an agate. Let's squirt it off and see. Oh, it's a lumpy, bumpy one. Lumpy, bumpy. Yeah, it is. It's an agate. It's got some nice, nice dendrites in it. It's very, very dirty right now. We'll clean it off and then you'll see why it's so beautiful. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. I just wanted to show you this because I thought it was cool. I picked up, I, I wanted to pick up this piece of petrified wood, and then I noticed that right here next to it was another piece just sitting there right, right together. That's how plentiful this stuff is. Well, this little guy was sticking up out of the ground kind of like that, and so I started excavating and excavating, and it turns out it's just kind of a cool agate. Oh, it's got lines in it. Very pretty.
Kava has a friend. This is Bo. And we are at a little place where the rocks have been washed off quite a lot. And this is what caught my eye. It made me stop. Of course, piece of petrified wood. But check this out. Yes, it's an agate. I think. Hmm. Well, it's cloudy today, so I can't tell for absolute certain. And this is very dark, but it looks like an agate. So I'm going to take it home. And here's another piece of petrified wood. I might not ever get out of this gravel bar. Oh, here's another agate. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to stand right here for the rest of the hunt. Look at that. This one is for sure an agate. Nice water line. Oh, look at that. That is so sweet. What a beautiful beach this is. My goodness. I just found this and I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe some kind of shellfish fossil. Mary, Mary, I showed it to Mary and she said it was some kind of fossily something. And I have to agree, <laughs> some kind of fossily something. That's my identification as well. If you know what it is, let me know. This one is neat. It's just little, but it has all these little bubbles in it. And it's got the opalization on the top where it's been sitting in the sunshine. Sweet. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering. I think this might be a jaspagate. It's got some red on the other side of it. Yep, jaspagate, all right. But there is a little agate that I spotted over here. That looks kind of interesting. It's not quite as little as I thought. Very, very dirty. We're going to have to wash that one off. Oh my gosh, look at this jasper. Look at the colors on this thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh yeah, I wish it was bigger, but it is so pretty. Well, I just spotted something that I think could be a really big chunky agate. Oh. Nope. It's not. It is, I guess, what you would call a milk agate. Too bad. Somebody asked me about, somebody who does not hunt the Yellowstone regularly asked me about these milk agates and like, what's the deal? Why are you not taking them along? And milk agates are really very similar to, um, to the Montana agate in mineral composition, but they have just some kind of impurities in them that make them so that they're not they're not uh, clear like the Montana agates are. And they're very, very abundant on the Yellowstone. So if you start dragging home milk agates, you may not walk very, very far. So that's why I leave them here. We are on a part of the beach that has just a ton of, of uh, just a ton of really clean rocks and it's just kind of hard to believe how many beautiful rocks there are. Let's see, is this an agate or is this a milk agate? It looks a little milky. Yeah, I'm afraid. Well, see now on that side, it looks agate-y. I think this must just be, this light stuff must just be opalization. Kind of hard to tell in this light, but I think that's an agate. It's got some little bots in there. I like that. Here's another one of those that are buried and, and not really positively identified. Oh dear! Positively identifiable. My backpack's getting a little bit full. Interesting. Looks like it's got a mixture of some white kind of 
I suppose quartzy stuff and and then the amber colored silica. Once again, we'll have to take that and take it home, clean it up, and see what we've got. Oh, Mary, that looks just gorgeous. Look at the color on that. That is so beautiful. I found it like that. Nice work. Oh my gosh, what is this on the outside? That's so interesting. Wow, good job. Yay. Well, here's another one that might be an agate and it might not be. I think it is though. Oh yeah, it's an egg. Nice. Well, the sun just came out and we are so happy because of course it's a lot easier to find things when the sun is shining and it's just more pleasant. And look at this piece of jasper. It has these crystals growing in it. Oh, that is just beautiful. have found some really cool banded shirt today and here is another piece this one's white which is really kind of unusual but it might just be that it has kind of weathered into that whiteness but see how they grow in these little rings these real tight rings and it is actually just so beautiful when you tumble it so that's going home with me well with the sunshine we get a little treat of the little agates Oh, this has like druzy crystals on the inside of that. That is just gorgeous. Yep, the sunshine definitely makes things easier. Mary's still the winner today though. This is kind of interesting. It's got like a X tube kind of thing. That's gonna be a really interesting rock to wash off and see what all is in there. Well, we're headed back to the four-wheeler and uh, I'm just walking along the beach and I'm pretty sure this is one of the beautiful things we're looking for. It's an agate. This looks kind of interesting. Can you see it? Agate, kind of a strange one. Kind of lots of lumps and bumps. <laughs> Sunshine makes so much difference. That's interesting. I think this is actually quartzite. Quartzite will glow like an agate sometimes too, uh, but that's not quite what we're looking for. Well, that's definitely not a Montana agate, but it's something. Isn't that pretty? Okay, well, this might be an agate, and it might not be. Heard that before, huh? Actually, I think it is, but it's very, very dirty, so it's kind of hard to tell. This is, this white stuff here, this white stuff here is opalization it forms when the agate is exposed to sun that's kind of an interesting little thing but what i was really really wanting to show you was this because it is chunky now this one looks kind of like it's a little bit clear you can see it glowing in the sunshine but it also has some lines in it. So this is the kind of agate that might give us some iris. I haven't really looked into that whole phenomenon yet, but I think this is a good one to try it with. Who knows, we might have gotten ourselves some iris agate. Well, this chunk of jasper has a whole lot going on and 
it's conveniently broken so we can see inside. It's only a few hundred yards back to the car. I think I'm going to take this with me. Well, we're done with the river, but Mary says that her husband, Michael, has been excavating this gravel pit so that he can gravel the road. And oddly enough, he's not going through and taking out all of the agates. So we're going to take a look and see what, what we can find. So you can see why the river renews itself every year. This whole area is just packed with gravel. And so when the, when the river comes in and uh, kind of washes it away, then more gravel comes into the beaches. And so that's what we like. I think it would be kind of hard to spot something on this, on this, uh, kind of hard to spot something on this wall just because it's so covered. Well, look at Kava. Hello, Kava. You're such a pretty girl. Guess who got into a porcupine today? Fortunately, she very, barely, barely got hit, but I was pretty mad at her because she ignored me completely. Mary is, is showing me the technique of hunting this giant pile of gravel. I think it's like a, um, like a conveyor belt. You have to grab it up like you're working in a factory. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna admit this is really just like a couple little kids playing in a sandbox. It's an awful lot of fun though. Well, once again, a fantastic day. Big thanks to my friend Mary for letting me come and hang out with her and uh, find some rocks on her beautiful land. If you enjoyed these videos, please be sure to click the subscribe button. Likes, comments, and shares also help. If you want to share in the treasures, check out my Etsy store, Katie Did Rocks. Links in the description below.